Hello everyone! Oggi siamo qui davanti al Colosseo con tutti che mi guardano perché ho deciso di fermare i turisti a caso, totally me, per chiedergli qual è la cosa che più li ha sorpresi dell'Italia, un po' una specie di shock culturali, una cosa che non vi aspettavate. Vediamo quali saranno le loro risposte. That's a good question. Um, there's not many coffee shops around. So like I haven't seen a single Starbucks. It's like you can go and sit in a restaurant but there's not an actual coffee shop. The fact that water is available all the time. I mean because in Singapore you, you don't get this at all anywhere else. Also the fact that it's still and sparkling. So my dad would love that because he loves sparkling water. So with the tall and so emotions people, they're screaming <laughs> all the time and uh, using the hands all the time. And I was a little bit like, uh, why is the people all the time screaming? It looks like a conflict. Since I am here, I think the Italians are, uh, are going too fast in the metro auto on auto. I think it's uh, very dangerous. <laughs> uh, also, uh, the Italians are uh, always smiling, happy, yeah. happy and the food uh, also uh, so good. Mm, traffic here. <laughs> I mean, a big city, you know, it's typical of a big city traffic. Probably the traffic. Everything is beautiful. Every single place where you go, you see something like impressive, like a church. And also the way the people dress is kind of different than from Spain. I like it, yeah? They look like nice. Maybe uh, people in the car can be a stop <laughs> when you cross a uh, road. Yeah. Yes. Could it be better uh, drivers still? Yeah. Um, maybe that the driving behavior is insane. Like, trust me, it's totally different. Especially compared to Germans, I feel like French people are terrible drivers as well, but Germans are pretty good and Italians are interesting. If you're here and you drive 30 above the speed limit, you still get like a horn from somebody behind you because you're driving too slow. Vi chiedo qualche secondo di attenzione perché voglio parlarvi prima dello sponsor di oggi, Cambly. Voi ragazzi sapete quanto l'inglese sia stato e sia tuttora importante nella mia vita, per me. Un video del genere non sarebbe stato possibile se non avessi studiato l'inglese prima. Come lo è per me è importante al giorno d'oggi per moltissime persone. E quindi oggi voglio consigliarvi Cambly, che è una piattaforma di e-learning dove troverete degli insegnanti madrelingua con cui potete fare conversazioni private che sono disponibili 24-7, 365 giorni l'anno, 7 giorni a settimana, tutte le ore, con prezzi molto competitivi. Una lezione da 30 minuti vi viene dai 4 ai 5,50 euro. E ci sono anche corsi, dei pacchetti, degli abbonamenti, quindi vi lascio il link qui sotto, quindi potete andare sul sito e spulciarvelo per bene. Cambly è adatto a studenti di ogni livello. Anche se siete beginners, vi assicuro la conversazione aiuta fin dall'inizio. Con il mio codice PROMO avete addirittura 15 minuti di lezione gratuita. Quindi io vi consiglio di andarla a provare perché non costa niente. Io per esempio ho fatto qualche lezione su Cambly, ho scelto un insegnante che è appassionato di Asia così almeno abbiamo qualcosa di cui parlare interessi in comune ed è un buonissimo modo per mantenermi attiva con l'inglese vi ripeto qua giù trovate dei miei link dove ci sono anche degli sconti quindi check it out let's go back to the video I arrived last night so I don't have a lot that I can say but I would say the food is so good better than expected and quite cheap actually the women were kind of classy the women are dressed very classy in general <laughs> I'd say prices of the food here has been so expensive, yeah, yeah. No, may maybe not so much in Rome, but I think in, because uh, we were in Venice yesterday. So back home, like when we eat pasta, you just get, you just get one dish, your pasta and your meat is just together. But like uh, here, a lot of restaurants, uh, they say you have to get like a starter and then your meat afterwards. I still don't get how that works, but. Also the cover charges, it's a bit, uh, we went to a place in Venice and they, th three euros each as a cover charge. And we were there for like 25 minutes. The fact that you guys open too late all the time, I mean, some, most of them. I mean, because in Singapore, you still you can't still can't drink after 10.30. Tu veux répondre? It's good, but uh, <laughs> I think uh, it's uh, not too pretty. C'est sale, comment dire sale? C'est, uh, it's not very clean. Not, not cleaner than I thought it would be. Last time we came here, it was, it was a pretty dirty place, but it's, it's got better all the time. I don't like the people that uh, try sell you something, you know, like, oh, yo, you want these? No, I don't want it, you know. It's a beautiful place, it's a beautiful town, but um, many crazy peoples. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> This uh, one with the selfie sticks and uh, um, the, the bands. They are yeah. annoying, of course. Annoying, uh, really bad. He comes with the roses to you and gives it in hand and you 
No, no. He's just coming back. Again. Just coming back and again and again and again. And it's really combined the, the ancient history and the modern life. The bad side of the Italy is it's a little bit uh, to me a little bit of chaos because, for example, I bought the Roma Pass, but then I still have to reserve it for the of the site and the museum, and even I have to pay for it right here. <laughs> I was certainly not expecting not to get into these event uh, these things. I was not expecting that you had to book online uh, the day before or whenever. It's quite disappointing actually to show up on a beautiful day and have them say you, you didn't go online, you didn't do what you're supposed to do. That's about it. The rest has been wonderful. Uh, the city is not very clean, but uh, the monuments are very beautiful. Oh, the scale of everything. Everything yeah. is huge, gigantic, ginormous. <laughs> well, like oh, the Colosseum. I, I knew it, it was big, big, but it's just oversized. Also the subway. I was so many times in Moscow. They have like more interesting subway. Well, here it's like a little bit confusing, yeah. We just came out from the metro system. Something that it's like kind of dirty, a little bit old, but it's also good. The well, um, metro is not very... Mm, yeah. it's old. The pasta and the pizza is quite fantastic and really like it. I think uh, the Italian is quite crowded. It just it make me feel something like bad, but uh, it's, it's kind of... Mm, nice. Maybe this is a good, uh, attractive city. Uh, Probably how good the food actually yeah. is. <laughs> no, yes. We know yeah. That. I mean, no, that's not yeah. surprising. We know that the food is I good, mean, though. Yeah, it kind of was. Like yeah. you Better. expected a lot, but it it actually was very good. <laughs> Maybe the politics that you change a lot. It, it seems like uh, every other year we hear that someone new is coming. Or in my memory, my first memory about it that is from the film, some films like the La Vida Beja. Like a very beautiful, very quiet, like small town and I like this kind of atmosphere. But when I just arrived I think Venezia is like a tourist city. It's commercial. Not good at living. It's just for tourists. Maybe uh, like when you go to a restaurant and the waiter is just walking around and screaming and it's funny. Like loud. Yes, yes. Okay. I don't know because uh, we live in France and when we come here we realize that uh, the two language has a big difference. And also people respect the rules because compared to France, I think currently we don't really wear masks. But here uh, really like uh, wearing masks. So yeah. I didn't expect that to be. Amazing. Yeah, I just saw it in the picture in my class, but that's so amazing. Just like, you know, the history, it's always just amazes me when you come here and you see stuff like this that's still standing and, you know, you learn about it in school and then come and see it in person. It's just so cool. That here are so many people. It's a lot of traffic here. We got caught uh, by a car a few times. Uh, not really, but it was quite close. So we were like, okay, nobody's watching the street lights. Everybody's just walking. A lot of nice people. This is a very good experience. Trash. Could be cleaner. I only go by scooter and it's kind of a shit show uh, in, the, in the city going yeah. by scooter. I almost got killed twice. Uh, I'm really impressed about the buildings here and the history. So only good things until now. Arch architecture mm -hmm. and uh, lots of people in the city. I'd say there are a lot of tourists. I didn't expect that. I mean, you probably could expect that, but I didn't. Even if it's not like the high season, I'd say. There was this one guy. He was dressed like a gladiator. And my friend that I was traveling with, he wanted a picture with him. I said, no, 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 but, uh, Ari, we don't need the picture with the gladiator. But she wanted the picture with the gladiator. So we ended up taking the picture of the gladiator. And he got really mad because apparently I needed to pay him to take the picture of the gladiator. So yeah, this is the only thing that surprised me. Everything else in the city is perfect. <laughs>